Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jewel Suds and Soaps. Um, I wanted to use my one and a half pound mold here, a loaf mold. Um, and I'm going to be using, I'm going to do a drop swirl. I'm going to be using 12 ounces of this Shea Butter Melt and Pour. And it is a suspension. So if I'm not going to put anything, not even glitter in there. But if I did, it, the glitter would stay suspended within the soap itself. I'm also going to be using 12 ounces of the clear melt and pour. And I have 10 ml of grape soda. Now it looks pretty yellow, so um, I'm going to put this in with the two purples. So I'm going to be using, like I said, these two purples here. And that white for the contrast. Okay, so I'm going to put these in the microwave 30 seconds at a time. After 30 seconds, I'm going to take it out and stir it. Uh, and I'm going to continue this process until it's completely melted. You do not want to overheat your soap, uh, usually around 160 or above, depending on which manufacturer you have, is considered, you know, starting to burn. And if it does burn, and it may not happen automatically, like right away, it will discolor your soap um, as well as change the fragrance. And it's not really a, a, a good smell. That's why there's there's flash points as well for fragrances. So, like, certain times you're supposed to add it. You don't want to add it as something like 160 or above. So, Okay, very good. I will be back probably in about six minutes. Okay, we're back. Now, I have this clear... Look at with the glitter. It really looks nice. I did add glitter. Um, a half a teaspoon. I don't remember if I said so or not. Okay. So I have to add eight more ounces to the white 12 ounces because I realized I'm not going to have enough if I just do 12 ounces of both. So if I have, you know, extra, I'll just put it in this mold. I wanted the base, the backbone of the soap to actually be mostly white and then have the purples kind of accentuate it. Okay, and I still have some clumps, big clumps actually. Let me check the temp on this. Everything's melted. Okay, we're at 145. So I'm going to put the white back in while I make my colors. Actually, I do feel one little cl uh, clump. starting to really thicken. Just trying to open this purple. This other purple color in here might need a little more. I just have a feeling I'm gonna have to put these back in the microwave. We'll see. This rubbing alcohol, if you squirt it in with this, it does help it to um, yeah, I'm gonna have to put it back in. It helps the mica to be incorporated better. That's a cool purple. Okay, so I'm going to add, you know what, let me put these back in. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to put this one back in. And we'll take the white out. I'm loving the purple. Yeah, this still has several clumps. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, it's 153, and I'm going to have to stir as much of this out as I can by hand. Yeah, this really, this thickened up very quick. All right, put these in for a little bit longer. I'm gonna go ahead, let's see. Let me check the temp. Yeah, it's 149 right now. delicate balance getting everything the same temperature or the desirable you know desired temperature okay I think these are good I'm gonna put the white back in the microwave This darker purple seems to be developing a skin. Let me check the temp on this. Okay, that's 139, so it is coming down. It's gonna harden real quick though. All right, let's see how our white is doing. I can um, stir out the rest of the clumps, which is good. Okay, we're gonna have to go work fast because those are thickening up again. Okay, that's 150. I'm gonna let that set. I'm going to evenly divide the grape soda. It has yellow in it, so I think I, I don't want to put it in the white just to be on the safe side because I don't want it tinting it a, a funny color. I want this to be white. Okay, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. So I'm going to start with the white. I might do a lot of white because these are really thickening up. really pretty. Let's spray these air bubbles out. This is just gorgeous, this purple. Okay, we're at 148, so I do want this to come down a little bit. I really do like to pour in the 130s. You're kind of safe with that. That's pretty much with drop swirls. One forty one, we're getting there. I hope I'll be able to, yeah, looks like I'll be able to penetrate. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start pouring this. Okay, 
Okay, let me get these ear bubbles out. This is going to have to go back in. Looks like we may have some left over, which will be good. I can use those molds. It's neat how the mica kind of does its own thing here. Let me check the temp. It says 140. That's pretty. I'm really liking this grape soda too. It smells really good. It's pretty on its own. Let's see what I can do here. I'm just going to, I have enough for about one of these, one or two. That way if I ever need white, I could just melt it down. Get those air bubbles out. Okay, I think I'm going to let this set, I would say for a good uh, two hours. Um, I usually do like the first hour out of the fridge and the and then in the, the next hour in the fridge but sometimes I rotate but just give it a couple hours be patient um, I know the funnest part of the soap is, is cutting it open and seeing the design so okay thanks we'll be right back okay we're back for the unmolding that is purple it almost looks red this looks like it could be a purple flower Really pretty. I'm, I'm happy with it. Okay, then we're going to go to the sides. That grape soda. Kind of looks on the outside kind of like, um, I don't know, a grape soda. It does remind me of a little bit. I think it's really pretty. That's the bottom of it. Thank you so much if you enjoyed this video. Please press the like button if so and comment down below. That would mean a lot to me. And please become a subscriber. I'm at, I think, 327 right now and my goal is going to be 350. So I would appreciate it if you guys could help me, you know, along the way. Thanks so much and I hope you have a great day. Okay, we're back for the unmolding. I think they turned out really pretty. 
So upon first glance, it almost looks like the two purples muddied together, but they did not. And I don't know what how well you can see it, but they stayed separate within themselves. And you can see here the swirls. So this would have been the bottom of it. And I did pour a lot of the white at the beginning. And then I did the purples. And some of it, you know, went through. Wispiness. That's kind of what I wanted. And this grape. Uh, this one's the grape soda. Boy, does it really, really smell nice. This one's really pretty. Really nice. This one's real pretty too. That's neat. And then you can actually see all the glitter throughout it. It's really nice. They really do smell nice. And then these two. It almost looks like vanilla ice cream and then you pour the grape soda in there and it splashes. I don't know, that's what it looks like to me. I'm very happy. There's the top. And then here was the side. And this one's real thin. It was the other side. But at least you can see the detail. This one I'm going to keep. It smells really, really nice. Like I said, it's uneven and it's thin, but this is going to be the one that I keep. Thank you so much for watching this video, and if you liked it, can you please press the like button, comment down below, I always enjoy talking to you, and if you could become a subscriber, that would mean a lot to me, it would really help my channel grow. Um, I'm at 327 right now, and my goal is going to be 350, so please, if you can help out with subscribing, I would appreciate that. Thanks, and have a great day.